is, can drugs be used as a vehicle to enlighten the mind? At least psychedelic chemicals, not all drugs, but psychedelic chemicals, have a capacity to cut through places where you are attached and clinging, to set them aside and show you a possibility. The problem is that they don't allow you to become the possibility, they only show you the possibility. Then after a few hours, you lose the view of the possibility and you have it only as a memory. A memory. Aren't the majority of them doing it for kicks? I don't think so. Uh, I've been on many television programs uh, where middle-aged people sit around and shake their head and worry about the young people having kicks. And first, like, what is a kick? Uh, it is true that LSD provides an ecstatic experience. It gives you an incredibly pleasant experience. But this pleasure is not the pleasure that you get from a bottle of beer or that you get from watching even a good television show. The pleasure you get from uh, LSD is being tuned in, turned on to your own nervous system. There are cautions, aren't there, Doctor, that, it, that uh, uh, a young person cannot go out and take LSD. We, we read in papers of cases recently a boy on the Lower East Side here thought he suddenly could fly and attempted to jump out the window. It doesn't work. It doesn't have the same effect on every human being. Oh, absolutely. Uh, when you take LSD or a psych psychedelic drug, it's like putting a microscope on your eyes that stays there for eight hours. Now, for the first half hour, you have these microscopes on, and it's wonder, it's revelation. It's a deep religious experience. You realize that there's more uh, beauty and more meaning in this, this intelligent plan inside your brain. It's delightful. But then after about an hour, or two or three, they say, well, now that's been interesting, but I'd like to take, I'd like to go back to uh, Mother's Apple Pie and to uh, uh, automobiles and so forth. But you can't. See, the LSD experience lasts about eight hours. So now it's true that the unprepared person gets frightened when he takes LSD. But uh, this is a new form of energy. I'm in the unfortunate position of being about 20 years ahead of my time. Now, whenever you're 20 years ahead of your time, you're in a risky position because it always takes one generation for uh, a new form of energy to be accepted, accepted, accepted. That's finally why you're driven to, to work on your mind, to quiet your mind, because you see the way your personality is really just a series of thoughts that you keep investing. Like the first moment you felt the sadness or the loneliness or the emptiness or the pain, that started a whole track of, oh, this is like I've always felt in the past, because the personality itself is rooted in fear and vulnerability. better to become Christ than to visit Christ. But this medicine won't do that for you because it's not the true supply. He said love is a much stronger medicine than this. Because love is that flow, flow.